and welcome to a Thailand tip and today we're going to talk about taxis so in Thailand you have uh, various uh, types of taxi uh, they're well I say types different colors in fact you can have purple color you can have yellow green uh, various various different brands of uh, taxi company and they all have their own sort of colour scheme. Generally in, in Thailand you know you can tell the taxi because it has taxi on the top. <laughs> I know. Taxi fares is very interesting because uh, there is supposed to be a uh, meter, uh, you're supposed to use the meter in, in your, in, for your journey. The taxi driver is supposed to put the meter on when you get in the in the vehicle and tell them where you want to go. Uh, what you will find is that the majority of taxi drivers have very little English. So unless you have your destination sorted out in Thai, uh, be prepared to have Google going uh, with a, with the destination in Thai. If you're if you're relying on them knowing where to go, uh, especially in, in Bangkok with it being so big, then don't rely on that because uh, you can end up driving around forever uh, trying to find the location. Make sure that when you get in the vehicle that they do turn on the meter. One of the uh, scams that's been reported is that they try to get away with doing unmetered trips and then making up the amount when you get there. So if you're if you're on your own and you're traveling alone as a tourist, uh, uh, especially uh, if you're female, then just make sure that you are aware of every scam if you're aware and you're on the on the ball then you should not really get scammed you don't have to tip your taxi driver but generally what they recommend is that you um round up the amount to a, a whole figure because they don't generally carry uh loose change with them now you'll you'll pay um 35 baht for the first two kilometers and then it will be two baht roughly per kilometer um, there will be a surcharge in traffic jams 1.25 baht per meter when when the vehicle was moving under six kilometers per hour so you'll find that there will be a, a little bit of charge there even if you're in in a traffic jam um, which is more than likely in in uh, Bangkok you will be responsible to pay the toll fares uh, it's probably recommended that you do go on to the toll road because uh, because of the traffic jams in Bangkok for example uh, toll roads can vary in price and I'm, I haven't really worked out how much they are <laughs> but they can vary so they can you can pay 30 baht 50 baht 70 baht so you can either let the driver pay it or as we do we, we give the driver the money so that we pay the fees um, as we go and then it's an easy way to remember how much you have to pay. Your typical fare for, for a few kilometres is about 50 baht. There's a few points that we can look at. As I say, you can uh, insist that they use the uh, meter. And if they don't want to do it, then I would suggest that you get out of the vehicle. Or if you haven't got in it yet, then go and find another one. You can negotiate a fixed fare if, you're, if you know how much you're going to pay. And you think that probably it's going to be a lot more than that. Now, if you have a driver that is unwilling to sort of take you where you want to go, then there is an emergency hotline that you can phone, which is at 1584. And, and providing you get the, uh, the taxi number, which you'll see on the door, there is a plate inside and outside of the cab. You can take a photograph of that. Then you can send that, that number to the land transport department. You can actually re report them. Uh, you can do it online as well. Now, it's okay to flag them. You can flag them down. Uh, if, if you see that the uh, taxi is available, you'll see a, a red sign in the window. It's a, a red vacant sign. It will be in Thai, but it will, you, you will be able to see it. Uh, you can flag them down by waving. Don't wave okay th that means goodbye okay that means goodbye what you want to do is is this with your fingers so you wave them this means come here means come here if you do that to somebody okay you'll see that a lot come here 
there's a couple of scams. If a driver wants to show you around and take you around everywhere and show you all the good places in, in the uh, location, then beware. Decline the offer. Thank you very much, cop and cap. Say no. Now trust your intuition. Okay, if you have a good feeling about, or if you don't have a good feeling about the driver, then wait for the next one or get out the vehicle. Tell them to stop the car and, as I say, beware the taxi outside the front of the hotel. They could be a little bit suspect. The clueless driver, you know, they, obviously they won't know everywhere, but, you know, if you have, if you have your Google Maps available, then you can show them where to go if they're not sure. And I have had that myself. Beware when you open the door, please. Um, have a little look around. So what they do in Holland, I believe, you open the door with your opposite hand. So if you're sitting with the door on your, on your right, you open the door with your left. Uh, this makes you turn around. So you can look behind you. A bike or, or motorbike might be there. And if they crash into the car, it'll be your responsibility to pay for the damages of the vehicle and also probably the motorcycle. Taxis pre often pretend not to have any change, any low, low denomination, so 10, 20 baht. So make sure that you carry small amounts. Don't give them a thousand baht note because you'll probably not get any change from it. Don't leave your stuff in the back of the vehicle. However, if, if you do happen to leave your stuff in the in the vehicle, it's not all bad because if you've got the taxi number, you can ring up the helpline and they will try and retrieve your uh, items that you've left in the vehicle. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Thailand tip and uh, have a trouble-free journey in taxis. Thank you for watching and goodbye.